Early 1970s. The show depicted Kevin's life from 12 to 17 and storylines were told through his reflections as an adult. Millions tuned in each week for updates in Kevin's social and family lives. Fred's acclaimed work in the series earned him an outstanding lead actor in a comedy series Emmy nomination at 13, making him the youngest actor ever acknowledged in the category. Fred Savage starred as Kevin Arnold, the lovable teenager growing up in a suburban middle-class family in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The show depicted Kevin's life from 12 to 17 and storylines were told through his reflections as an adult. Millions tuned in each week for updates on Kevin's social and family lives. Fred's acclaimed work in the series earned him an outstanding lead actor in a comedy series Emmy nomination at 13, making him the youngest actor ever acknowledged in the category. Member of with the 1996 TV movie No One Would Tell in a lead role in the 1997 sitcom Working, which ran for two seasons and also marked his directorial debut on a few episodes. He then had seen stealing parts in the 2002 films Austin Powers in Goldmember and The Rules of Attraction. Fred made guest appearances on shows like Law, Possible and Fill Off the Future, Hannah Montana and Zoe 101. In 2006, he led the short-lived sitcom Crumbs before returning to work behind the camera to cement his Plessy as one of the industry's hardest working comedy directors. Fred's gone on to helm episodes of Modern Family, Ugly Betty, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Party Down, The Connors and Camp. He also returned to acting with lead roles on the Fox comedy The Grinder opposite Rob Lowe for one season in 2015 and on the Netflix series Friends. From college for two seasons from 2017 to 2019, Fred's latest project is directing and executive producing The Wonder Years reboot. He married childhood sweetheart Jennifer Stone in 2004. They have three children. After the Wonder Years ended in 1993, Fred Savage returned to regular high school and later attended Stanford University. He was a member of the Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity and graduated in 1999 with a bachelor's degree in English. The Chicago native returned to acting with the 1996 TV movie No One would tell in a lead role in the 1997 sitcom Working, which ran for two seasons and also marked his directorial debut on a few episodes. He then had seen stealing parts in the 2002 films Austin Powers in Goldmember and The Rules of Attraction. Fred made guest appearances on shows like Law, Special Victims Unit and Boy Meets World and lent his voice to animated projects including Family Guy, Kim Possible and Justice League Unlimited. He then focused on directing for TV, starting on children's shows like Even Stevens, That's So Raven, Phil of the Future, Hannah Montana and Zoe. 101. In 2006, he led the short-lived sitcom Crumbs before returning to work behind the camera to cement his place as one of the industry's hardest working comedy directors. Fred's gone on to helm episodes of Modern Family, Black-ish, Two Broke Girls, Ugly Betty, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Party, Down, The Connors and Happy Endings. In 2007, he directed his first feature film, Daddy Day Camp. He also returned to acting with lead roles on the Fox comedy The Grinder opposite Rob Lowe for one season in 2015 and on the Netflix series Friends from College for two seasons from 2017 to 2019. Fred's latest project is directing and executive producing The Wonder Years reboot. He married childhood sweetheart Jennifer Stone in 2004. They have three children. Dealing with the death of her older brother in the Vietnam War, which caused her parents to separate due to their collective grief. Winnie and Kevin's will. They are want the relationship served as one of the show's most compelling aspects, until they finally start dating. Their on and off coupling became a running theme for the rest of the show, with viewers catching every episode hoping that things would finally work out for the pair. Danica McKellar played Gwendolyn Winnie Cooper, Kevin's main love interest and neighbor. When Winnie was introduced, she was dealing with the death of her older brother in the Vietnam War, which caused her parents to separate due to their collective grief. 
Winnie and Kevin's will they or want they relationship. Surveyed as one of the show's most compelling aspects, until they finally start dating. Their on and off coupling became a running theme for the rest of the show, with viewers catching every episode hoping that things would finally work out for the pair. Game changer for Americans in debt. 0% APR until nearly 2024. Add compare cards. Slideshow continues on the next slide. Game changer for Americans in debt. 0% APR until nearly 2024. Add compare cards. California, Los Angeles. She earned a paper that became the Shays McKellar Wynn Theorem. She then authored several best-selling math-related books primarily targeting adolescent readers interested in the field. The Southern California-born star initially struggled to get back into acting, nabbing occasional guest spots on TV shows like Even Stevens, The West Wing, NYPD Blue, NCIS, How I Met Your Mother and The Big Bang Theory. She had more luck booking voice work on the animated program Static Shock, Justice League, King of the Hill, Young Justice and DC Superhero Girls. She can also be heard in the animated films Scooby-Doo, Abracadabra Do, Superman, Shazam, The Return of Black Adam and the Jetsons. World of TV movies, starring in countless romances for Hallmark Channel as well as its matchmaker mystery film series. Her extensive holiday-themed tenure at the network includes the projects Crown for Christmas, My Christmas Dream, Coming Home for Christmas, Christmas at Grand Valley, Christmas at Dollywood and Christmas She Wrote. In 2014, she competed on season 18 of Dancing with the Stars, finishing sixth. The following year, she starred on the series. Like Fred Savage, Danica McKellar also focused on school after finishing The Wonder Years, studying at the University of California, Los Angeles. She earned a mathematics degree, graduating summa cum laude, in 1998, and as an undergraduate co-authored a scientific paper that became the Shays McKellar Wynn Theorem. She then authored several best-selling math-related books primarily targeting adolescent readers interested in the field. The Southern California-born star initially struggled to get back into acting, nabbing occasional guest spots on TV shows like Even Stevens, The West Wing, NYPD Blue, NCIS, How We Met Your Mother and The Big Bang Theory. She had more luck booking voice work on the animated program Static Shock, Justice League, King of the Hill, Young Justice and DC Superhero Girls. She can also be heard in the animated films Scooby-Doo, Abracadabra Do, Superman, Shazam, The Return of Black Adam and the Jetsons, countless romances for Hallmark Channel as well as its matchmaker mystery film series. Her extensive holiday-themed tenure at the network includes the Project's Crown for Christmas, My Christmas Dream, Coming Home for Christmas, Christmas at Grand Valley, Christmas at Dollywood and Christmas She wrote. In 2014, she competed on season 18 of Dancing with the Stars, finishing sixth. The following year, she starred on the Netflix original series project. Meg 2. The actress was married to composer Michael Verda, with whom she has a son, from 2009 to 2012. She then wed the lawyer Scott Sveslowski in 2014. Startaid is one of the show's most loving bonds, but their relationship fractured as the series went on. Paul eventually transferred to a prep school, leaving Kevinto make new friends. After he eventually moved back to the same school as Kevin and Winnie, things were never quite the same for the buddies. In the final episode, it was revealed that Paul attended Harvard and became a lawyer. Josh Saviano played Paul Joshua Pfeiffer, a bright student who was Kevin's longtime best friend. Kevin and Paul's friendship started as one of the show's most loving bonds, but their relationship fractured as the series went on. Paul eventually transferred to a prep school, leaving Kevin to make new friends. After he eventually moved back to the same school as Kevin and Winnie, things were never quite the same for the buddies. In the final episode, it was revealed that Paul attended Harvard and became a lawyer of York City University. 
The former star was admitted to the bar in New York and, like his Wonder Years character, built a successful career as an attorney. He joined the firm Morrison Cohen and became a partner in 2013. He left in 2015 to found two startup endeavors, the law firm JDS Legal and Celebrity Brand Consultancy Act 3. Advisors. Josh made a brief return to acting, playing a lawyer on three episodes of Wife Jennifer, who share daughter Noah, have been married since 2002. When the wonder years came to an end, Josh Saviano left acting behind to attend Yale University, where he became president of the Sigma Nu fraternity. He graduated in 1998 with a degree in political science and then worked as a paralegal for a New York City law firm. In 2000, he worked for an internet firm. Before earning his law degree from the Benjamin N. Cardozo School of Law at Yeshiva University. The former star was admitted to the bar in New York and, like us Wonder Years character, built a successful career as an attorney. He joined the firm Morrison Cohen and became a partner in 2013. He left in 2015 to found two startup endeavors, the law firm JDS Legal and Celebrity Brand Consultancy Act 3 Advisors. Josh made a brief return to acting, playing a lawyer in three episodes of Law, referring to him as Butthead and other off-color nicknames. The nuisance struggled both in love and in school and eventually decided to join the army because of his poor academic performance. When he was unable to pass the physical, he instead took a job at the same company as his dad and began a serious relationship with a divorcee named Bonnie. Sadly, he was left heartbroken when she reconciled with her husband. Wayne Arnold, Kevin's annoying older brother, was played by Jason Hervé. Wayne enjoyed physically tormenting his sibling, routinely referring to him as Butthead and other off-color nicknames. The nuisance struggled both in love and in school and eventually decided to join the army because of his poor academic performance. When he was unable to pass the physical, he instead took a job at the same company as his dad and began a serious relationship with a divorcee named Bonnie. Sadly, he was left heartbroken when she reconciled with her husband. Parts. As a result, he moved behind the scenes, becoming an executive producer on. Also formed the production company Biscoff Hervé Entertainment and produced a series of TV movies including First Daughter, First Target and First. Showed as well as reality shows like I Want to Be a Hilton, Scott Bio is 45. And single, Hulk Hogan Celebrity Championship Wrestling and Party. Monsters Cabo. From 2001 to 2003, he was the Senior Vice President of Media and Communications for the Health South Corporation in Alabama. The Los Angeles. Native lent his voice to animated shows 100 Deeds for Eddie McDowd and Justice League Unlimited and hosted and executive produced the 2008 reality series. Confession Soft a Teen Idol. In 2010, he joined Total Nonstop Action Wrestling as an executive producer and has continued producing TV programs in the years since. More recently, he worked on the Nickelodeon sitcom See Dad Run and the true TV reality show Hardcore Pawn, Chicago. The entrepreneur also has a cannabis brand in the works with imprisoned Tiger King star Joe Exotic. In 2016, Jason spent a weekend in jail after a DUI arrest. He and wife Shannon, who have two children, married. When the Wonder Years wrapped in 1993, Jason Hervé had trouble finding more acting work outside of a few TV movies and guest parts. As a result, he moved behind the scenes, becoming an executive producer on World Championship Wrestling until the company's closure in 2001. Jason also formed the production company Biscoff Hervé Entertainment and produced a series of TV movies including First Daughter, First Target and First Shot as well as reality. Shows like I Want to Be a Hilton, Scott Bio is 45, and single, Hulk Hogan Celebrity Championship Wrestling and Party Monsters Cabo. From 2001 to 2003, he was the Senior Vice President of Media and Communications for the Health South Corporation in Alabama.
the Los Angeles native lent his voice to animated shows 100 Deeds for Eddie McDowd and Justice League Unlimited and hosted and executive produced the 2008 reality series Confessions of a Teen Idol. In 2010, he joined Total Nonstop Action Wrestling as an executive producer and has continued producing TV programs in the years since. More recently, he worked in the Nickelodeon sitcom See Dad Run and the True TV reality show Hardcore Pawn, Chicago. The entrepreneur also has a cannabis brand in the works. With imprisoned Tiger King star Joe Exotic. In 2016, Jason spent a weekend in jail after a DUI arrest. He and wife Shannon, who have two children, married in. Refinance rates at 2.03% APR. Calculate your rate now. Add lending tree. Slideshow continues on the next slide.